Hey, what's up everyone? It's Coach Damon here. Uh, a little out of breath. We've been out here playing a little, little bit today, uh, but I want to do this video uh, to give you a look at what's inside my gear bag. All right, this thing is going to be a little bit like a time capsule. <laughs> uh, remember, I played lacrosse in the early 2000s, graduated 2003, uh, and really haven't upgraded my gear all that much. I'll show you some new things that I got, uh, but a lot of this is the original gear that I played with back at Cal. And the first thing I want to show you is actually this gear bag itself, all right? So super retro uh, gear bag there, it says Golden Bears. On that side, I got this in 1999. Uh, we got my name right there. Uh, you got the number on that side, and then Cal Bears Lacrosse uh, on that side. And funny story about these gear bags, uh, they're actually, you know, they're super um, noticeable, right? And one time, uh, a buddy of mine, long pole, left his gear, or took all the gear out because it was, after practice, it was stinky, sweaty, put it on his balcony to air out the bag, uh, and someone stole this bag. And then we saw this homeless guy walking around Berkeley with this bag, uh, <laughs> using with all his stuff, and our long pole's like, you know what, that guy needs the bag more than me, he can just keep it. Anyway, that is the bag. We open it up. Uh, first thing I want to show you is uh, the helmet. And it is the old Cascade C2 uh, goalie helmet. So I started with the actual box helmet, or not box, but um, bucket helmet, the one with the laces in the back. And then um, in the year, I think 2000, these came out. And they were really revolutionary at the time. Now, when you compare it with something like this shut helmet uh, from that Adam Gittleman that I won uh, in a giveaway that Adam Gittleman was doing, PLL Archer's helmet. Um, just unbelievable in terms of design. This one seems like it's got a little bit more solid protection. Um, anyway, that's the, the Cascade C2. You can see I took a shot right here off of the visor uh, and broke it. The C2 does have this like extending visor that not many helmets have these days, so the, the visor kind of extends over. Now, now all the modern helmets have it like plush with the um, the thing there. But anyway, you can get you can see those those two helmets side by side. And I got the Cascade original uh, thro throat guard on there, drilled in from the side. All right, so that is the helmet. It's got my number on the back, number thirty. Still fits. Yep, feels good. But that one, that one feels a lot better. All right, all right. So that's the helmet. Um, and then I've got a bunch of just random pennies, and there's a penny right there. A pair of practice shorts right here. Um, I always like to play with jerseys. So I know some people practice just with their, you know, their chest guard exposed. Um, I always felt like, I just felt a lot better playing with the jersey um, over the, so I've got my uh, original jersey there, Cal number 30. Um, what else we got here? I don't know where I picked this one up. I think I traded, this is one of the more modern ones. I think I traded a current, uh, Cal player for that one, that's 46, that ain't my number. Uh, here's our other jersey, our home jersey, the home whites, number 30. So I keep those jerseys in there. Um, I've got this old pair, this is my first pair of gloves right here. Um, they're brines, I don't know, I don't even know what kind, but they're just normal field player gloves. And I actually sprained my, my thumb so bad uh, at a camp in these gloves, but you can see these original brines, old school brines right here. And then around 2000, um, lacrosse goalie gloves came out. And so I got these. I think these are the Warrior, um, I don't even know what model they are. But we got Team First right there. Uh, so these do have a uh, thumb, a built, beefed up thumb that you can see uh, right there. Gives you, gives you some additional thumb protection. But it's still like, it still bends. It still bends back. Uh, and you can see the thumb, I can kind of still move it underneath there. So it's kind of like just a, th a thing that sits over there. Whereas when you look at, when you look at current, 
Goldie Glove protection, and these are the um, Maverick Maxes, Maverick Max Pro. Like this thumb is just super solid, and I can I literally cannot bend it back. It doesn't go that way, right? Um, and you could just see, see how much more thumb protection that one has um, compared to that one. And just look at the size, right? Look how bulky, look how bulky, big and bulky uh, these ones are. I feel like my hand is swimming in here and this one's just super sleek, uh, fits me super well. Um, so that's some Maverick Maxes. Anyway, those are the gloves that I played three years with in college. All right, next up, we've got this old STX chest protector. Um, it does have this, you know, additional heart piece. So I don't, this thing's probably not street legal because it has not been approved. Um, I'm not even sure what model it is. STX Flex Ergonomics. I don't know, I think that's just talking about this design right here. Uh, but here is my chest protector. It had, you know, some shoulder things, had some removable groin piece if you needed it. Um, anyway, pretty lightweight, pretty compact. All right, uh, more pennies. Uh, we played our home games on turf, so I have these Nike turf shoes uh, that are pretty old. They got like the nubs on the bottom there, um, but you can see they're super worn out from dragging my toe, which you actually should not do. That is a bad habit. Uh, but on both sides, they're super worn out right there. As you kind of like drag your toe across, you should not be doing that. You should come come across, so that's a bad habit. But uh, here's my turf shoes. Um, I had cleats in here, but I took them out to play softball. <laughs> so they're no longer in here. Um, every once in a while, I throw these on. These are some warrior uh, goalie pants. So they give you some extra padding. They're super bulky though. I didn't really like this pair. Um, I don't know, THPS, I'm not sure, sure what model it was, but they give you a little, you know, you wear them under your shorts and they give you a little thigh and hip protection, but like I said, super bulky. Um, wouldn't recommend this one. All right, uh, what else? Penny from a club team that I played on uh, up in Tahoe Mountaintop. And another penny. And my other gloves and some backup some backup cups so these are just regular bikey cups i use the uh i use the nutty buddy but it's not in here where the hell is it i must have taken it out to demo it to do a review <laughs> good thing i noticed that's why i always kept a backup cup in my bag or i kept two backup cups in my bag um just you know in case you forgot your cup like i get to the field right now and i go crap i don't have my cup uh, anyway, I, I took it out, but I've been using the Nutty Buddy, uh, which I really like. All right, then I got a bunch of training equipment um, that I kept in my bag, which I think all goalies should have. Uh, at a minimum, you should have a jump rope. I'm a huge jump rope guy, and I'd always do it when I was warming up. Um, get the feet moving, get your, your, your hands and your legs coordinated. Uh, I jumped so much rope as a wrestler in high school, and then when I got to college to play uh, lacrosse and switched to goalie it was just natural um, so I just got a super thin rope here um, I've got these swack slacks goalie balls which if you've never seen them uh, you should definitely check it out these things are awesome they're like the size and weight of lacrosse balls uh, but they're like hacky sacks they don't sting so you could take them um, off the legs uh, and if you're doing you know an intense training session highly recommend it and then these are the goalie balls so they come numbered one two three so I can, you know, as a goalie coach, throw balls and I can try and pick up that number, call it out as soon as I see it, all right? That's a Swack Slacks goalie ball. Um, of course, I got a bunch of lacrosse balls in my bag. Um, I got a bunch of tennis balls in my bag. Uh, different color tennis balls, right? So you can do drills where, you know, you, throw, you pick up the color of the ball. Um, so I've got different colored tennis balls. Um, I'm a huge resistance guy, so I got a bunch of resistance bands. You could throw these over your legs, um, over your knees, or a little above the knee, and do uh, some workout with that. Um, I've got that, and then this you know, resistance band right here, we can throw it around a goalie's waist um, and have them get some resistance, or put it, um, you know, tie it to a fence and, and put your top hand in here and get some resistance. Um, so I love these things. 
Uh, speaking of resistance, I've got two uh, ankle weights, Everlast ankle weights, two and a half pounds each. That adds some weight to the bag, but um, I love training, uh, doing drills with ankle weights because when you take them off, man, you feel explosive. All right. Um, always need a uh, screwdriver to, you know, screw heads. I used to have a, um, I wonder if I still have it in here. I think I took it out. I used to have a Leatherman tool uh, that I kept in here, but I think I took it out to uh, use in my house. Anyway, here's a, a screwdriver. Uh, we've got this reaction ball right here, so we can train with that. This is gonna take funny different hops and work on reaction time. Uh, more reaction balls, more tennis balls. Uh, and then I've got these, like this is a, it's like a practice golf ball. I got a bunch of these, because when you shoot them, they don't go that fast. And same idea with this plush ball. Um, and so there's this drill that I learned from Chris Buck, um, Coach Chris Buck, you know, where you gotta sit back and, and whoo, the stick comes, right, with that big movement. And you usually think this, the ball's gonna be right on you, but it just floats. Um, so I've got a bunch of these different balls that I've tried out um, for that. Let me see. No, just, just these two. I thought I had another one, but I guess not. All right, um, that pretty much does it. I don't even know what the heck this is. Ah, an old Under Armour skull cap back when those were those were the rage to wear underneath your helmet. An old <laughs> an old mouthpiece. I would not put this in my mouth right now. <laughs> I don't know how long that's been in there. Old mouthpiece. Old pair of socks. Uh, extra piece of sidewall string. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is in my goalie bag. I hope you found that entertaining. Take care.